Hello everyone, this is Lisa Robles, AKA Lisa Teacher's Classroom. And I am talking about YouTube today because I went to this fabulous uh, presentation at Q last weekend. And he was talking about why we should use YouTube. And so his basic reasons were, of course, it's inspiring. It's inspiring for the kids. It's immediate. You can get news things that just happened, right? Um, you can show the world. Um, you can differentiate things, you know, show different types of things. You can demonstrate dangerous experiments, get a bigger audience, massive, of course, because I heard YouTube is like the second used search engine after Google. Um, they can experience history firsthand. They get to create, hey, Lisa, nice to see you. Um, they get to create, share, and help others. And of course, you can use 360 video. I just buy, bought myself the Viewmaster, um, but just a tip, buy it online at Target because it's $19 there, whereas if you buy it in the store, it's $29. Um, so you'll save yourself 10 bucks. And it's really cool. Um, I really like it. I, I, I think my kids will really enjoy it, but I wanted to buy that one instead of the Google Cardboard just because I thought it would be a little more sturdy. Um, next, he talked about Salmer, of course, and um, how it's such a great model of tech integration in schools and talking about teaching above the line. You want to be doing modification and redefinition versus just substituting. I mean, there's no point if your kids are just typing, what's the point of using technology? Um, so his tips were um, maybe taking some words from the standard itself, like sensory experience or Lewis and Clark or something specific and being able to um, find things like that and then maybe create reenactment reenactments with your kids. Um, looking at specific videos and thinking up some math questions. He had a really good one on these pennies that piled up into a period. And then say, uh, pausing a video to make a hypothesis. So I don't know if you knew this, but you have your own channel on YouTube. If you have Google, you can go log into your Google account and you can go to YouTube and under the three lines in the top left hand corner, it'll say my channel. So you have your own channel where you can save your own videos. And some of the people that I subscribe to are um, Loving Lit. I, lo I just love her products. Um, and she has sort of demonstrations of what she does. But if you're looking for Periscope and ideas on how to use it, Alex Pettit is really good. Um, the Canadian Space Agency is really good. Um, he'll actually take questions the kids had and talk about um, actually do the experiments up in space. So that's really neat. And then Casey Neistat has some really cool videos. If you're looking at how to use it for yourself, there's Tabitha Caro, she is awesome. And then these last ones are just for me, dance tutorials, Dana Alexa dance, things like that. But there's a lot of really cool things on YouTube that you can show your kids, but there's also a lot of things that you can use to create videos with your kids. And of course, that's your highest level of SAMR, right? That's where you wanna get your kids. So um, just thought I'd share with you guys on some reasons why we should be using YouTube, um, different things out there. Definitely check out Canadian Space Agency. There was some really cool things that they did. And I think this guy was Grant Thompson, which um, had just, just different types of things. He's the king of roundups. So he does different experiments, mad science projects, things like that. So a lot of things your kids would be interested. Um, and of course, experiments that you're not gonna be able to do in class. So that's really cool. So I hope you got some tips for your classroom and I will see you later. Bye. Bye, Lisa.